what song do you want to hit next on this? I, I've never heard the song This Must Be the Place by the Talking Heads. I bet you we have. We just don't this know. This is one of those things that we have no you just don't know it yet. You wanna hit Let's play you it. You wanna do that one? Okay. What's the song called again? Modern Love? Uh no. It's, shut up. <laughs> it's, that was the last song. Modern Love. This now it's stuck in my coffin head. Play another song. Must be the place. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I just wanna also grab the lyrics so I could read along, which is a really smart idea. All right, ready? What's the song called again? This must be <laughs> the place. <laughs> Any minute. Just a now. lot of gold. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's just a guy in a fucking recorder. This is also just a still image, by the way. Like. <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking shredding that guitar. <laughs> fucking. They already get an A plus. Oh my god. I don't even look like myself. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at this guy. Imagine if this guy came up to you. Oh my god. This guy sucks. This is gonna be. You got light in your eyes. <laughs> I like your version better. Oh my uh, god, <laughs> Christ. How did this make a top 10 list of the 80s songs that we don't like? Say goodnight. I love that her. <laughs> that we thought the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, well. That was Talking Heads. This must be the place. Um, well, hey, what a revelation in music history. Uh, is this How this one slipped my fingers, I'm really not too sure. I, but this has definitely made a cultural impact on uh, society as a whole. And wow, what a message this song had. I, I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with you, Michael. I think that song was very culturally mm -hmm. appropriate. I think it was very... Mm -hmm. Um, Do you mind if I sing you just a bit? I would love to. Do you mind? Yes, please. That okay? Yes, please. That, that would actually be very um, enjoyable for me. This is This Must Be the Place to Be by the Talking Heads. And this is just a small portion. I'm going to do my best. You know, and that's just did I hit that spoke to did me. I hit play by accident and the the song started again because I really couldn't tell where they no that was me that was you that was me oh my god that was me that was actually very impressive I, I at first I was a little Thank hesitant you. but that was that's really on, I do, I'm I'm blushing right now dude <laughs> don't even play I'm fucking don't, don't even, even play, play right me now. dude don't even fucking play dude I really need this right now dude <laughs> <laughs> my music career is gonna take off dude and I, I just need this. On God, bro. <laughs> on God. I'm just lit right now, fam. Your homie is no more. Yeah, bro. Just sing into my mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gayest right. shit I've ever heard. It's rough. <laughs> Michael, I was talking about you saying sing into my mouth, not the song. I wasn't calling the song gay. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, and the wires I, are getting crossed. I, uh, I'm going through a tunnel. I've been canceled <laughs> again. <laughs> uh yeah you can't say stuff like that yeah that was i i mean we started with like the lyrics and at first I, was, I thought it was like a song about like moving to like a new city uh or something i i didn't really i think it yeah i you, sorry go ahead uh, you, ooh, uh, but i then i was like i have no idea what the fuck this song is about i lost the fucking meaning i don't know what it means <laughs> i have no idea what it means some of the the uh, lyrics. I'm just gonna suggest this song is about the time after death and before birth. So maybe like Hinduism as being reborn within that. And you're you're saying like that's completely fucking weird. How would you get that? Just a couple of the lines is uh, what is it um. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I 
drift in and out. Um, There's too much fucking shit on me. Share the same space for a minute or two. Love me till my heart stops. Love me till I'm dead. Eyes light up. I'm so hot. Eyes look through you. And some of the other stuff. Uh, head in the sky, feet on the ground. Dad's in the room. And that's and you're going to pound down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck you hard. <laughs> yeah. And then they talk about angel wings. And this is the place to be. Oh, yeah. And then there was a time before we were born. That's kind of where I get that. Mm-hmm. And what do you think they meant when they said, hi, yo, we drift in and out? What do you think they meant about that? Hi, yo, sing into my mouth. What do, you, what do you think that meant, Michael? I believe it's um, in and out of consciousness uh-huh, uh-huh. and drifting on into the other world uh-huh. and or possibly into ours. Uh-huh. And singing into my mouth is God giving uh-huh. me the words that I need to say uh-huh. going into my mouth but also coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Thank I you. want to take focus on the coming out part, Michael. Would you please elaborate on that? There's too much fucking shit on me, I can't! I don't understand what I said wrong, <laughs> but it all sounds pretty normal to me. I will say <laughs> whatever you need me to say to not have to answer that question. <laughs> so I was able to I locate think... the meaning of the song. Really? Yes, I was. This must be the place, Naive Melody, is a song about taking it easy and enjoying life. And the Naive Melody, quotation, portion of the title refers to the repetitive guitar and keyboard bass line, which provide a unique sound uh, to the track. In a book titled Talking Heads, the band and their music, written by David Gans, Byrne and uh, Burns, had this to say about the infamous song. This is a love song made up of almost completely a non sequitous phases uh, that may have strong emotional resonance, uh, but don't have any narrative qualities. So the song narratively means nothing. nothing. (laughs) Uh, It's a real honest kind of love song. (laughs) Very interesting song. Um, I had never heard it before. And if I never hear it again, what that means is he wrote it when he was on drugs. Absolutely. (laughs) That's the white people version. (laughs) Yep. You know, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's, it's got a deeper rooted message than that. It means something, but out of nothing. (laughs) Were you on acid when you wrote it? Oh, most most definitely. definitely. Most definitely. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, Okay, well, that was a fun list. Let's look at maybe a different one and just see, like... Uh... How I feel right now is in the episode of Billy Madison, or the episode of that movie, Billy Madison, when the guy looks at him and he's like, not one word in your incoherent rambling. Would that be considered a rational thought? <laughs> I award you zero points. And may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh, shit. Uh, All right, I got I got another <laughs> list here. Um, okay, there's a couple. There's there's some recognizable ones here. Master Blaster by Stevie Wonder, which is a fucking insanely good song. Um, Super Trooper. I did not know it was spelt like that. Is it Trooper with two O's? Uh, well, let's take a look. Super. Oh, I clicked one too many times. It, Super pooper. Is my keyboard just not working? Nope. Shoot, there we go. We're good. Super. I wanna be. Now it is. It is spelled O U P E R. What the fuck? What? That's true. True. That's truly stupidy. Hey, this is uh, Brendan recording this way after the fact. Um, during editing, I took a look at this. It's like super clearly obvious as uh, a grown adult. There's just two different words. Uh, one of them means one thing and the other means something else. So I'll put them both up on screen now. There's literally just two different words. I'm, we're just stupid. <sighs> Cringe.